What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to another episode of Madden 18 Ultimate Team. And guys, we have officially made it, man. The NFL regular season is finally back, man. There are no more Sundays, no more weeks without football. I could not be more pumped at the fact that I get to now watch football all day, every single Sunday for like the next what 20 weeks or something like that man it is such an exciting time that the nfl season is back and we are kicking things off tonight with the chiefs playing against the patriots let me know who you guys got taking the first game of the nfl regular season man i'm just so excited that football is finally back man now to start things off for this episode we are going to take a look at a new program i guess we could consider this a new program that they added into the game but you guys all know that once you pre-ordered madden 18 you got to choose one of five goat players well along with those five goat players they just decided to add three more into the the game which includes Bo Jackson, Randy Moss, and Ronnie Lott. Now originally like I said we only got to choose one of the five goat players to have for our team but now with these new baby goats which you guys are seeing here is a bunch of 73 overall additions of those goat players you can eventually like get a bunch of those players and then put them into the sets and get every single goat that is in the game right now for your team now it would take a bunch of coins because all these are selling on the auction house and it would definitely end up being pretty pricey if you were to get every single one of the goat players but for me personally I'm just doing the solo challenges the two every single day which gives you a baby goat and just going to upgrade my current goat that I have on my team which is the Ray Lewis so decided to go ahead put him into the set make him from the 85 to the 86 overall which you guys can see isn't an insane upgrade I mean it is a little bit he does just have like a plus one in every single stat it isn't that wild but you know what eventually we are going to be able to get our Ray Lewis to an 87 overall that'll probably be done by the next episode so I mean it's not a crazy upgrade like I said but I think it'll be worth it in the long run now what I've been doing here in the past week of Ultimate Team has been working a little bit on my solo challenges. You guys can see they just added this new category called the Gauntlet Unleashed. Now, enabled to do these solo challenges, the only way that you can actually go into them is by having a minimum tier lineup of a certain division in the NFL so for this instance the first week that it came out it was the NFC East so in order to do these solo challenges you had to have at least the tier one chemistry of the Giants Cowboys Redskins and Eagles all in your lineup to do those solos so I ended up doing those once you complete the final weekend solo challenges we get this option right here where we get an elite player pack now I could either choose to get an 82 overall or better elite and I'll be able to auction him off or I can choose to get an 85 overall or better elite player but I can't auction him on my team and I definitely went back and forth man I could not decide on which was the smarter choice which one should I go for should I go for the gamble and hopefully get a really good elite player and be able to sell him or get a guaranteed really good elite player but just have him sitting on my team forever and I can never sell him well I decided to take the gamble and go for the 82 overall better or player and be able to sell him and it looks like I made the right choice by choosing to have the elite player that we were going to be able to sell because we just got ourselves a really nice elite card man 86 overall left guard Andrew Norwell just by doing my solo challenges we got ourselves a crazy good elite now the only issue I have with this player is that I already have an elite left guard in my lineup like are you kidding me man the one position I have an elite card on my team we have to get a duplicate at that position now yes it is a slight upgrade I should put this card into my lineup however I would rather sell this card for about 80,000 coins man crazy pool that we got and keep the non auctionable or tradable one because if we put Andrew Norwell in our lineup that would just pretty much use Justin Pugh as the non auctionable or tradable one just sitting around completely useless man so with that nice little pretty penny we just made decided it was time to go ahead and make another upgrade with the team which is going to bring the mystery player to our lineup which is going to be Erev Weddle the mystery player is Eric Weedell. Our mystery player is Eric Weddle. Okay, okay, I'm only kidding with you guys. It was 100% just a joke. I know that typos happen. Only trolling with you guys a little bit, but it is going to turn out that our mystery player for today's episode is in fact going to be my man, Eric Weddle. Undoubtedly one of the best safeties in the NFL last season. Now, of course, I would love to go out there and get his 90 overall core elite player for my team, but... That thing's going for like 400,000 coins, man. I know we just got ourselves 80,000 coins from that player we just got, but that's just a little too pricey and out of my range right now, man. I'd rather not drop that much coins on one single card. Maybe down the road, if its price drops, we will pick that thing up and go into the power-up tier 3 set for Eric Weddle, which I believe will be a 91 overall. So, I decided to go ahead and get the power-up tier 2 edition for our team of Eric Weddle, and I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but I really want to find out what's the difference from the tier 1 to the tier 2 set, going from the 75 to the 
83 overall is it worth doing and in my opinion as well as you guys can see it is for sure worth going to the power up tier 2 set at least I mean he goes up like plus 9 in some of his stats man so if you guys are ever doing these power up sets I think you should for sure always at least go up to the tier 2 edition so once we plug my man Eric Weddle into the lineup he goes up to an 84 overall and also now has an 84 play recognition so that is going to do it for the defense locking things down in the secondary is going to be Eric Weddle but there are a few other additions I would like to make and that is going to include our, both of our tackles we have very low overall goal players at that position we have a 74 Eric Flowers at left tackle and a 72 overall LaRaven Clark at right tackle so to start things off at left tackle for 3,900 coins going to pick up 79 overall Eric Fisher from the Kansas City Chiefs as we go ahead and take a look at his stats now in our lineup we have an 82 strength 79 run block 72 pass block 80 impact blocking and an 80 awareness at the right tackle position going to pick up another 79 overall for 4,500 coins from the Arizona Cardinals we have Jared Veld here I don't think I said his name right definitely a big time upgrade going from the 72 to the 79 overall though and he does have a 91 strength 72 run block 75 pass block 78 impact blocking and a 78 awareness over on the defense as well we have another very low overall goal player I would like to upgrade which is our left outside linebacker so for 2500 coins we are going to pick up another 79 overall from the Miami Dolphins we are bringing in Koa Missy at left outside linebacker I think that this is going to be a big upgrade for the defense as you guys can see his stats he is 72 speed 83 tackle 80 play recognition 81 power move and an 81 hit power so that is going to do it for our lineup today guys we made some changes to the defense made some upgrades to the offense we're going to jump right back into our head-to-head -head season hopefully continue this undefeated season we have with a 1-0 record Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game well will they be stars will you be a star we'll find out let's play so not only does my opponent have 87 overalls as his top three, I mean, he's got a one-two punch with Barry Sanders and Devontae Freeman, but he has Russell Wilson at quarterback. So we definitely have a, a pretty tough matchup against us today. So on offense, going with a play action for Andrew Luck. And this man just threw the worst ball I've ever seen in my life. I went to press the square button and throw it to that receiver. Go back and watch that play one more time and see how badly Andrew Luck under threw the route on that play, man. It was insane. Now, as my opponent came on offense, as you guys can see, like I said earlier, it is going to be tough stopping this combo of Barry Sanders and Devontae Freeman, who he loved going with back and forth. Now, on second and six. I cannot believe I did not get the interception there, man. I was just a step away from it. Almost got the pick with Ray Lewis. That could have been returned for a touchdown as well. And a couple plays later on first and goal, Barry Sanders right up the middle of that line going for the touchdown. My opponent now has the lead 7 to nothing in this game. So that was definitely a, a pretty bad start to say the least. So hopefully Andrew Luck can make a better throw in this play here as we go to LaDainian Tomlinson. And now we're not throwing interceptions, but... LaDainian Tomlinson is going to cough up the football, and he's returning it for a fumble six man. Things are going so awful for us right now. My opponent has a 14 to nothing lead, and like what is happening with my quarterback? Do you guys see this? He just overthrew Cordero Patterson by like 10 yards. I don't understand what is wrong with my quarterback, Andrew Luck, right now. Third and 11, the same situation happens. Like, that was at least six or seven yards in front of Julio Jones there. I mean, I don't think he would have caught it regardless, but, like, I just don't understand what's happening. And on fourth and 11, another overthrow to Rob Gronkowski. He intercepts it with Byron Maxwell, and uh, this guy is going to return another defensive touchdown, putting him up 21 to nothing. So I think it's uh, it's safe to say we can just forget about that game. The final score ended up being 31 to 17. We made... A very slight comeback, but couldn't finish out that game, man. So we're just going to forget that ever happened. Undefeated season is now officially over with. We have a 1-1 one and one record. And now we get a peek at some of the top players here for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Brandon Gauden, Charles Davis ready to go in the booth. We hope you're ready to go at the controls. Let's play. And now we have an even tougher matchup, dude. Are you kidding me? We've got 88 Doug Baldwin and 88 Jordan Reed to go against. And this guy has a legend, Reggie White. And, uh, okay, seriously, Andrew Luck is about to get quick sold, man. What is wrong with my quarterback right now? He is overthrowing everybody in today's episode. Like, how do you miss Rob Gronkowski, a giant target at tight end, and he overthrows him? My opponent's cornerback is able to pick me off, and he's starting things out on offense, dude. Like, we're just not having ourselves 
a very good get day today on offense. So on third and 10, throwing it up to Jordan Reed. Of course, this guy is going to catch and hang on to it. I mean, he's an 88 overall elite tight end. And on second and goal, a few plays later, like, I don't understand what that formation was. I sent the blitz. There was three offensive linemen. I don't get how I'm sending, like, six guys to tackle the running back. But with three offensive linemen, he was still able to go in for the touchdown. That just that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So hopefully we can have ourselves a better drive this time on offense. And so far, Andrew Luck finally connects like his first pass of today's episode to our receiver, Tavares King. I don't know what this dude ate for breakfast, man, but obviously it wasn't something good because he is playing like an absolute idiot right now. But on third down, my opponent was using his legend, Reggie White. It was just completely unfair. He was obliterating my offensive line. That brought us up to a fourth and 15. I decided to go for it. I was like, there's no way I'm punting the ball right now. I'm completely fed up with playing this game right now. And thankfully, Julio Jones was able to get open a pickup of 23 yards. We got the first down. So going into the second quarter now, Second and 11, LT hits him with the spin move. That was definitely a very nice play, able to pick up another first down. And a few plays later, we got brought up to another third and 19. And my opponent, I noticed, continued to go with the same formation on defense, which always left this exact play for Julio Jones to be wide open every single time. So he kind of messed up in that situation. A pickup of 20 yards. A few plays later on third and goal, we go to my man, Marshawn Lynch, completely untouched into the end zone. We finally got ourselves a touchdown on offense, man. Tied up this game 7-7. Seven to seven. However, going into the third quarter, you guys can see the score is now 10-7. to seven. So my opponent did put himself up a field goal before halftime. And he does now have the ball at the start of the third quarter. So... If he puts up a touchdown, we are definitely in not good position to really do anything in this game. And it is not helping things out that my opponent has Bo Jackson at running back, man. This dude was absolutely killing me with Bo Jackson, as you guys could see what just happened on that previous play. On third and ten, the dude goes with a draw play and is able to pick up another first down. Eric Weddle comes up with the tackle. So now going into the fourth quarter, this is still the same drive my opponent has had the ball at the start of the halftime. Gotcha, bitch! And finally, we get the biggest stop on defense that we could have asked for, man. My opponent makes a big mistake, throws an interception to our number three cornerback, Darius Butler. And this is now our game to lose, man. If our opponent put up a touchdown there, this game was definitely over. But our defense made a play, got the interception. And like I said, it is ours to lose right now. So... First play, we are going to Cordero Patterson, is able to put on a nice juke move, pick up a first down. A couple plays later in this drive, about a minute left until the game is over. We're at a third and three. Going to throw it to Cordero Patterson once again. This dude takes a big hit, but he has been so clutch in this game for us right now, getting that first down. Very next play. Andrew Luck standing in the pocket. We've got my man Rob Gronkowski wide open down the middle of the field. Finally, Andrew Luck is starting to make some passes happen. Doesn't miss a wide open target of Rob Gronkowski. With 30 seconds left, I decide, you know what? We've just got to keep it safe. Run the ball with LT, and that was definitely a smart play. We pick up more than a first down. Going to call our second timeout. There's 28 seconds left in this game. It's a first and goal right now. Andrew Luck is sitting in the pocket. I don't see anybody open. I've got to take off for myself. And Andrew Luck with the clutch touchdown. What an episode that was, man. Andrew Luck was just so garbage in the first game. He was garbage in the first half of this game, but in the final drive, he was able to clutch up, get that game-winning touchdown, finishing the score off at 14-10, and we got ourselves the victory, man. So even though we had that little bump in the road in the last game, we got the loss. We just got ourselves the victory and now have a 2-1 record, and I think we could definitely still make the playoffs as long as we continue to win these games this season. So that is going to do it for today's episode, you guys. I hope you all did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out the mystery player. It will be in the outro of this video just in a couple of seconds. But once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all later. Take it easy, guys. Peace out. Backlash written on me, card robbing on a glass bowl. I've been falling. Free my ladies in the counter now. I'm already out. Already on the countdown. I'ma set it right. Got the backlash written on me, cold running from the pole pole.